Eden Hartley is on his way to a maximum security warehouse, where perhaps the world's largest cache of raw ivory waits. For three days, Aiden has been denied access to the ivory room. So we've been looking for images of ivory on a big scale, just to try to illustrate how ghastly the costs of poaching are. And we know that there is one location where there is a vast quantity of ivory, and that is in the government ivory room. This is all of the stocks that have been confiscated from poachers and recovered from animals that died naturally in the wild. But the Tanzanians have never allowed a film crew into the ivory room. We're hoping to get better luck by going through the minister who's in charge of wildlife because he is showing a completely different style of leadership. He's trying to show us that uh, he wants transparency and he says that Tanzania has nothing to hide. But despite his best efforts, Minister Kamas Kagashaki's request for Aiden to see the ivory room has been resisted by his own staff. So what is your problem? Tatizo sasa hivi ni the ban ya kuuza ivory. Kwa hiyo hata wakiwavamia, wakiwavamia wanaipeleka wapi? Sasa mnakimbia mnaficha nini? Hebu ongea nao. I think eh? Fungua na zipo pale ni PS moja Eh, let let let. Minister Kagesheki instructs security guards to take Aiden to the ivory room. This is a historic moment um, when we may be able to see uh, around 90 metric tons of ivory tusks. And a few years ago, Tanzania applied to CITES for the right to sell these on the open market. Most of that would have gone to China. That request was turned down. And we're living in historic times because the, the new minister who's responsible for wildlife says that he's going to withdraw the application. Um, he thinks that Tanzania should be compensated for the value of the ivory, but he doesn't necessarily want to release it onto the market. Now, these are the sorts of things that could actually save the elephant. Helps to push it open. It's like going into some sort of ancient tomb. Can we go in? Right, okay, wow. And you, you, you can smell it. It's almost like dried blood. There's the smell of death in here. All of these are confiscated trophies. You can see still, it makes me emotional again, how the ivory is smoothed here because this is where the animal during its life was using its tusks. And to those people who say that, why don't we just remove the elephant's tusks? Because then that will put off the poachers. Elephant used their tusks. You can see how this animal lived and, and used it to dig salt. This reminds me of some kind of genocide memorial or some solemn place that records what could be the end of the elephant in the wild. As one of the poorest countries in the world, Tanzania um, should try to get some sort of compensation from somewhere if they have a resource in order to be able to police the parks and national reserves against the poachers. But if uh, the international donors came and paid Tanzania money to burn it, would you support that? Definitely, yes. What I need is just the money out of that. I will support that idea very strongly. Many in Tanzania would like to sell the ivory inside this warehouse. It would bring some $50 million to this desperately poor nation. Others worry that a sale would just drive demand for ivory higher and that it would lead to more poaching. So instead, they'd like to see the stockpile burned. One thing is clear. We are now in the days of what may be the final battle for the elephant.